Hi, I'm George Musser, Space and Physics Editor at Scientific American, and this is my daughter Eliana. Hi. In this episode, we're going to make a simple compass out of stuff you probably got lying around your house. Now, this is not a compass you'd want to take on a hiking trip anytime soon, but it can show us some interesting things about our planet Earth. For this project, you're going to need the following items. A plastic bowl. A cork. A sewing needle. A magnet. And last but not least, some water. First, I need to fill up the bowl with water right up to the top. Now, I'm going to grab the magnet and the sewing needle very carefully. If you've got young kids, you'll probably want to do this part for them. Then take the needle and rub it against the magnet 30 to 40 times. Okay, through the magic of editing, it's now about 40 rubs later, and our needle has become magnetized. The next part is simple. Just push the sharp end of the needle through your cork. Be sure to push it into the rounded part of the cork, not the flat part. Ellie, go ahead and put the needle and cork contraption into the water. And as you can see, the needle points roughly north-south toward what's called magnetic north. You can also use the compass to find the other directions. So north, south, east, and west. The way this works is that magnets or magnetized objects like our needle are forced to line up along Earth's magnetic field. This magnetic field happens to point roughly north. It's not strong enough to move a heavy magnet, but has no problem moving a small magnet floating in water. For more activities to try at home, visit our website at scientificamerican.com forward slash bring science home.